Hi guys, it's Caroline and today I'm coming at you with a book haul. Now I normally do not accumulate books like really quickly. I tend to kind of like do it quite slowly. So um, the fact that I just have so many from the past like two weeks is a little bit crazy. I went a little bit wild, but uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, the first few come from the Harvard Bookstore warehouse sale and I love the Harvard Bookstore. I've been going there. I walk past it every single day in undergrad. I love it. It's near and dear to my heart. So when they had a sale and I got all five of these books for under $40, including the shipping, I was just like, I had to do it. First up is White Teeth by Zadie Smith. Now I have read a few Zadie Smith novels in the past. I've read On Beauty, which I absolutely loved. I read for a class about the Harvard novel because it is loosely based on um, Harvard's campus, although it's called a different thing. And I've read Grand Central and I really love her writing. I think she's awesome. And this just really spoke to me. This is about two men who are World War II vets. They live in Britain and they kind of both have marriages and children on the later side in life. And I think the one has an arranged marriage with a much younger wife. The other one has a much younger wife who is Jamaican or part Jamaican and they have a child. So I think it's kind of dealing with race and the complicated issue of race in the UK, along with these guys who are older. Like she just writes so poignantly on race that I'm really excited to see what she has to say. Next, I have Barn 8 by Deb Olin Unferth. This seems so weird and I've seen it around. I've, I recognized this cover when I saw it online and I just thought like, why the heck not? It was like $5.99 or something. And it is about these two auditors of the egg industry and they just decide that they're gonna break out in the middle of the night like a million chickens. And I kind of don't know why. I assume it's because the like, egg farm chicken industry is really terrible and treats chickens really poorly and they're sick of it. Um, but I like, like what what kind of basis of a story is this like I'm so intrigued um the like blurb says oh they do this and then like you know chaos ensues or like many things happen so I'm like it's just gonna be a weird wild ride and I'm really excited for it and like I haven't heard much about it and like there's just a giant chicken on the cover. So like, what was I supposed to do? Not buy it? Next up, I have two books by the same author in the same series, Waking Gods and Only Human um, by Sylvan Nouvelle. And these are books two and three in the Themis files. The first one being Sleeping Giants. I don't have the first one, but both of these were super cheap and I really love the way they look. Um, so I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to get the first one. And I, I like, look. They're beautiful. Um, from what I understand, the first book is about this little girl who falls down a hole and when the firefighters come to rescue her, they realize that it's not just like a regular hole, although I don't know what that means. It's actually like they look down and she's sitting in this like giant metal hand and they have no idea what it is or sort of what it represents. And 17 years later, it follows this girl who I think is sort of investigating all these years later, like what that meant. I've heard a lot of great things from a few, like the few people I've heard talk about this, like absolutely love both this series and this author's other stuff. I think this author has written some like short novellas, but even the author's bio seemed really interesting. I was reading it and they just seem like they've done like 4,000 different things. And so I just think that this is gonna come from a really interesting perspective. They're so pretty and they were so cheap. How could I not? The next one I got because I saw Peru's Project, Reagan from Peru's Project talking about it and I'd never heard of it before. And then all of a sudden, as I'm going through this warehouse sale, this pops up. So I'm like, why would I not buy this? And that is Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. And this is about this like bookish guy. He just got married, he's on his honeymoon and his wife like goes missing or is taken away from him. And he has to go to what's called the Tower of Babel to sort of save her. Um, and he seems to be this guy who prefers books to actual like adventures and experiences. He would rather just stay at home and he's sort of thrust into this like crazy world. I think there's a lot going on in this tower. Um, and there might be like a lot of magic and different stuff going on. And he's probably, I'm guessing, going to be really overwhelmed and have to like face his fear of going on adventures. But I'm really excited for this. Um, I was excited for it. And then I found out that one, I could get it for really cheap. Two, it's a four book series with the fourth book coming out this year. So that means I can 
marathon it very soon and so I'm just really glad to have this in my possession. Then the next two books I got at my local Barnes and Noble and this first one is the reason why I went into my Barnes and Noble and that is none other than Chain of Iron which is the shiniest cover um, and I really like this blue and yellow thing they have going on here. It gives me very Beauty and the Beast vibes. But essentially this is the second in the Last Hours trilogy, which is one of the many mini series that are a part of the Shadowhunter world. I honestly don't think that the original Shadowhunter trilogy or like group of six is all that good. Um, but I really loved the clockwork, like princess, angel, prince series. I love that, the, um, the dark art artifices. This is set to be my like new favorite trilogy. Of course, it's too soon to call. This is only book two, but I think that I think the like past setting in like Victorian era of England, on top of the fact that Cassie Clare has just gotten to be such a better writer as she gets older and like more experienced, that this is really it. Like, I just think, honestly, skip all the other ones, only read like the Clockwork series and then read this because this builds off of and these are the children of the characters in that first trilogy. Um, and don't read anything else. But this is basically, like I said, about the children of that trilogy. And they're sort of making their way in this, you know, London. And they're shadow hunters, which means they're demon hunters. And they grow up learning how to fight. However, they've kind of lived in a sort of era of peace. There's not been as many demons as there has been in the past. There's really not been like any big terrible thing happening. And so they maybe aren't as ready when all of a sudden these demons start showing up much more often. They're harder to kill. They're straight up killing shadow hunters left and right. And it's like a big problem. I'm really excited for this. It's a big boy. It's over 600 pages. The good news is, is the font and the pacing of these books. You can read them really, really fast, like many pages per minute than like your normal. So We'll be okay. I'm really excited to get to this though. Then when I went into Barnes & Noble to get Chain of Iron, I was looking for Claire in the Sun by Kaza Ishiguro because I read The Remains of the Day recently, uh, last year actually, and I really loved it. And so I was looking forward to that. Weirdly, despite the fact that it came out on the Tuesday and I was there on the Friday, my Barnes & Noble still didn't have any copies. I don't know what my Barnes & Noble thinks it's doing not having one of the hottest books of the year like the week it comes out. Anyway, so instead of buying Clara in the Sun, I said, I'm already here. We're already going to spend our money. Let's do it. And I bought My Year Abroad by Chang Rae Lee. Now, he is a Pulitzer Prize finalist. Finalist, not winner, but a Pulitzer Prize finalist. And um, I've heard a lot of great things. The uh, literary magazine I work for recently interviewed him, and they said the interview was really wonderful, and he's well-spoken, and had a lot of interesting stuff to say. And... Also, I just think that this is going to be an interesting book and one that because it's so written in a more literary style, I'm going to want to read rather than listen to on audiobook. It's about two men. One is Chinese American and I believe the other one is just white American. And the white American guy is just sort of your average slacker, not, you know, doesn't think he's going to amount to much and doesn't really care. And when he meets the Chinese American man, they sort of get caught up in this like business proposition and and they travel to Asia and I think this is supposed to be sort of a slower book. I've heard people talk about it being almost Dickensian because it's really long for like the amount of plot but I actually don't mind that. I really love Victorian literature and like you know the Goldfinch and books like that work really slowly and I'm all for it as long as I care about the characters and sort of the societal like machinations that are happening like slowly in front of your eyes and I do think that this is going to do that because he is a really lauded writer and also I just like have faith and I've heard good things um but it's supposed to kind of look at things like capitalism about like um Asian people whether they're Asian American or Asian immigrants in America also looking at Americans in Asia um just a lot of things going on and all of which I'm really interested to find out about so Really glad I have this. This is another big boy. I went to Barnes & Noble and basically added over a thousand pages to my TBR. So yay for me. And then the last book that I'm going to talk about is a book that I got in my Owl Crate that I am so glad. Owl Crate has been hitting the mark these past few months. And this month in February, they gave us 
the Gilded Ones. And everyone and their mother has been talking about this book. I don't need to give you a huge synopsis because I'm sure if you've been around booktube you've seen it. And it is about like a girl who there's some sort of ceremony where you show your blood and like that means you like good moving on well her blood is not the color it's supposed to be it is gold and I think that means that she has like some sort of magic and she has to decide is she going to go to the ceremony be exposed for having this gold blood and then be killed for what she is or is she going to kind of join this army of these special girls all of whom have this gold blood and like what does that all entail risking her life being a part of this like kind of army she's never heard of what's she gonna do i'm really excited this seems to be like a really cool new series so many people are talking about it it's on so many people's like hot releases that they were looking forward to and i'm really glad that owl crate put it in my hands so yay okay so that concludes my book haul i hope you enjoyed and let me know which of these that i should get to like asap although i want to get to all of them asap but let me know which ones i should get to first bye